Happy Holidays! All of you watching this video made it through 2023. Congratulations! And as your reward, I'll be giving you a late Christmas present. I go by many names. Cavmain, Cavsimp, Mimi's number one sugar baby, Daddy Furious of course. But for today, I decided to be something different. I decided to switch sides and be an archer main. Shoot my arrows if you know what I mean. <laughs> Disclaimer, before you get all excited, please calm your titties. This is just for educational purposes and for a video of course. Two things I will never be. One, being friend zoned by Mimi. Two, being an archer main. So with that being said, best archer pairings 2024 updated. Let's begin. By the way, oh boji moi kakoi krasi voya background, you had wapsheta lublu. I believe. Sorry, my Russian accent got out there for a second. So, pairing number one, obviously, it's gonna be the new meta, the new archers, Herman Prime and Ashur Banipal. Couple of notes first. If you already have Budika and you run only one archer march, you can skip Herman and continue doing Budika with Zhuge Liang. If you are a new player and you don't have Budika Prime yet, then get Herman to 5551 and these are his best pairs. Herman with Zhuge Liang, Herman YSG, Herman Tommy and Herman with Henry. Just like Budika with Zhuge which was the single best archer march, now it is the same with Herman and Zhuge. Both of them they have AoE damage and Herman has a high march speed which Zhuge doesn't have at all, literally zero march speed. Then we have Herman with YSG. As you guys know, YSG has no tankiness, he has no health, no defense. So this is where Herman comes to shine and gives him some defense. Unfortunately, there is no health because the new archers, both of them, they don't have any health bonus. But uh, yeah, Herman gives YSG some defense and some tankiness from his force skill, which is damage reduction. Then we have Herman with Tommy. Now, unfortunately, I can't really give my opinion on this march yet because I need to see some open field testing, some real testings after he comes out. But uh, yeah, Tommy's relics can give him health that he doesn't have and some extra march speed by 10% which is always appreciated for archers. This is Herman's talent tree, you use him with wedge formation and as for accessories, you will go with ring and horn. By the way, the reason why I put Herman in all of his pairings as primary is simply because he has a support tree. And you may ask why support? Because of two talents, rejuvenate which is extra rage and loose formation which is skill damage reduction. Speaking of new archers, we also have Ashur, and he is literally Nebu Prime, so you can use him with YS3 or Zhuge Liang on the field, and you can also use him as secondary, which brings me to best archer marchers number 2, Butika Prime. So, we have Butika with Zhuge, Butika Herman, Butika Ashur, Butika YS3, and Butika with Artemisia. Now, Butika with Zhuge Liang, no need to explain. Budika with Herman. These guys sync with each other perfectly because Budika's active skill, it has a skill damage increased by the enemy for the next 3 seconds. And that's gonna increase Herman's skill damage by 35%, so that is huge. Plus, both of them, they have martial speed, they have defense, and they have damage increase towards infantry by 5%, so that is 10% combined. Wow! Pairing number 3. Now, here we have Zhuge Liang as a primary which very few people use, well, mostly use this in Siege of Orleans KVK, where you pair Zhuge with YS3 and you inject them both with steroids, which is basically auxiliary skills that gives them march speed that both of them don't have, literally zero, just like a turtle, but a very strong turtle. Double circular AoE? God damn! Yeah, very good march for the Orleans KVK. Anyways, here are the best Zhuge pairings outside of Orleans. Zhuge with Henry, Zhuge with Nebu, and Zhuge with Honda. You see not many pairs for Zhuge as primary because again he has zero march speed and the only good commanders to pair him with are the ones that offer him some speed. So now these are the top 3 archer pairings, archer marchers that I just told you, uh, which are literally uh, meta, they're still in the meta. Other than that, you can use Nebu with YSG, Gilka with Tommy, or Cyrus with Ramses, or Cyrus with Honda. These are these last three pairings. They are a bit outdated, I would say, or like not in the current meta. But if you have the equipment and you want to run extra archer marches, then feel free to use them and uh, they can do some good damage.
Oh, now before I continue to the best archer swarming pairs, let me just show you the talent tree for Ashur because I literally forgot to show you. This is very, very, very similar to Nebu's talent tree because, like I said, they are the same. Ashur is Nebu 2.0 or Nebu Prime. And for all of the pairings we just talked about, for formation, you are using Wedge, and as for the accessories, you are using Ring with Horn. And now for the big boys, the bad boys, the Veils, this is for you the best archer swarming pairs. Number one, Budika with Ashu or Budika with Juge. Number two, Juge with Tomiris. Number three, Henry with Gilga. Number four, Gilga with Tommy. All of them wedge formation with ring plus horn. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like and smash that sub button. Uh, honestly, it would be great if we can get Daddy Furious to 3000 subs before 2003 officially comes to an end. That would be great. It means in one year of my activity on YouTube, I managed to get 3000 of you into being a daddy. Well, also, I hope I haven't normalized simping for Mimi because she has already too many sims in 1175. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I mean, nothing's wrong with simping. Uh, let me just complete this entire guide by saying for civilization, you go with Ottoman. I mean, just look at the stats. Archer health, march speed, mm, and skill damage. Perfect. Literally, you will bully infantry and say, Voice than Fata, du schmutziges Mädchen. As for the city skin, I assume we don't have Zenith, so you will go with Twilight Falls. Skill damage, I mean, it's just made for open field. It's made for archers. And... Um, Either this one, or you will go with Flight of the Heron. Personally, I still prefer to use the Twilight Falls for the skill damage, but if you don't have that, and you have this, then use this. With that being said, don't forget to join my Discord channel. I got all the talent trees, all the guides and tips, where you can find and it's easy to navigate in separate channels. Plus, we really have a good community there, where we get to talk and chat about different things. So yeah, the link is down in the description of this video, so join and hit me up. That's pretty much about it, see ya!